Note 10 is by no means a normal phone. With its size reaching of up to 6.8 inches, it is fairly one of the bigger phones. I remember the time when there used to be a massive 7-inch tablet. The simple Note 10 is about 6.3 inches with the plus version is 6.8 inches and I personally think that it is a lot big. Now this may depend upon your preference but for me a person with smaller hands like most of Asians I prefer a smaller phone. But bigger phone mean bigger features. One of the biggest features of the Note 10 is the omission of the headphone jack. But before you judge me I am like a person who likes to move forward and if the industry is trying to move forward then it needs to have take bigger steps toward the future and not having a headphone jack is something that matters for the future. According to Samsung the reason for not putting the headphone jack is that they had to put a bigger battery in it but there's a question for you Samsung if you can fit a whole pen in the phone that why can't you put a simple headphone jack. Samsung has yet again improved the S Pen this year and have included a feature in which you can use a S Pen to do different stuff like switching between camera, zooming in, zooming out or taking photos. They have also opened an XTA form for this so that other developers can also help. If you don't live under a rock then you might have seen the phones that with this with this feature the in which you don't have to touch the phone or do different to do different stuff. This S Pen technique is much better than that. It's no joke that Samsung makes the best displays in the market right now, ranging from watches to Q LEDs, and the display of the Note 10 is no exception at at, at all. They, it is also one of the best displays in the market right now. Just look at the bezels of the phone with no side bezels and a very thin line at the top and at the bottom of the phone. The cameras are in the center. With that, which is a nice place to be. So that's it for today's video. See you guys next time.